All right, good morning. Me and Patriot are getting ready to uh, figure out our upper cabinets here above the kitchen uh, counter. Um, they're gonna obviously be a cabinet above the uh, above the sink window, and then it's gonna be a cabinet here from counter all the way up. No, not from the counter all the way up, but it's gonna be whatever. And then uh, of course above that window right there. So that'll make mama happy. And uh, what I've decided to do is build this whole upper cabinet on the ground and then bring it in and hang it up. So I've, uh, I've loosened my, my temporary uh, power. I have to shut it off and then remove the box. Um, there'll actually be a, be a four gang here. That'll be, uh, you know, coffee pot, you know, things like that. Um, and then the other side of it's going to be a 20 amp, you know, for like a crock pot or something like that. I still got to run that wire. Um, and of course, all of this will get straightened out. There'll be, you know, some of these switches will be accessed from this side. And some will be accessed from this side, but there will be a door on both. So you won't even see all the switches, just look like a cabinet. So um, I'm gonna keep the trailer here through the weekend. I hope to get some projects done and uh, I'll keep you updated. Okay, I just finished up the uh, the window sills and the window frames. Well, basically, they're just sitting there right now, they're just dry fitted. I'm gonna stain them first before I put them on. So I went ahead and did this window also. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tongue and groove this whole wall before I hang the cabinets, okay? And that way, I don't have to, you know, cut around the cabinets or, you know, once I got the cabinets done, cut small pieces and put inside the cabinets. It'll just look real nice when I hang the cabinet because the cabinets won't have a back on it. All right. So. Got my ramp door open, got everything covered nice. So, all right. I'm gonna start working on this upper cabinet now, now that I know where my, my windows are. And he's basically, I'm just, since I'm standing here. If, okay, that goes, that will go in there like that. Okay. And then a piece of trim will go around the whole thing. It'll look real nice. It'll look real nice. Okay. All right, I'm getting ready to uh, hang the tongue and groove on this wall. I'm gonna start down there where I, where I ended and, uh, and work my way this way. Okay, I got my first two courses started. Now I'm getting ready to do above the window, and then I'll do below the window. I've got everything cut. Got my cut over there. I'm keeping it off the ground a quarter of an inch, and uh, I'm gonna put these up, and I'll be right back. Okay, got that one done. And ready to do this next section. I went ahead and ran a, a full piece top to bottom and then uh, as you can see 
I'll trim off. I'll trim off this piece right here. It comes to about. Comes to about right, right there. Okay, but I'll wait till I get these. That'll help to strengthen this up. You know. Okay. Got most of this wall done. Well, most of it, but a lot of it. Getting ready to go across the top of that window. Got my window sill in. I put my framing in. I've got to uh, blew up and uh, install my frame there, so I'll get that done, alright, so I'm getting ready to cut all these across here, now we're back, alright, I'm all the way down this window, getting ready to come across the top with them, and uh, I'll be back, I wrote Gina and Vince, 2019. Maybe someday if this trailer ever gets remodeled or something or we die, our name will be there forever. Alright, I'm beat. All done with this wall. I brought it underneath this cabinet and edged up to my door. And I started to I started to do those pieces above the door, but I ran out of energy, so. There it is. Ready for the cabinets. And there's Mr. Patriot. His new thing is to rip the shit out of coconuts. We have a coconut tree right there and they fall down and he grabs them and he, he shucks them. <laughs> he chews the hell out of them. <laughs> That's a good boy. That's a good boy. He's got two of them going. But you see the pieces of the... Coconut. All over the yard. <laughs> This is his favorite spot to sit, as you can tell. Oh look, he's got another one right there. He started. What you got there, buddy? Huh? You're so crazy. Alright. Everything's all cleaned up. Put away. Mom will be home in a little while. Have some dinner. And we'll pick it back up again to Mato tomorrow I gotta get a better gotta get another brick for this one and, uh, unplug the fan it's pretty cool out I'm not sure what exactly the temperature is out but it's probably in the mid 60s
very comfortable. My uh, my storage boxes and my propane tanks. It's working out real well. I uh, I ran the heat last night. Um, the furnace just to uh, you know kind of get a sense of how it does. Um, it was about. I don't know, it dropped down to about 60 last night, so I I had it set to like 64. <coughs> Not, I wasn't trying to heat the place up really as much as just, you know, have it, give it a chance to start and stop a few times throughout the night, and it seemed to do just fine. Um, got my saw horses put up. Okay, I think that's it for today. Store. One quick final look at the at the cabinets. Well, I'm sorry, not the cabinets. The tongue and groove. I think it looks fantastic. Um, I think the window sills look good. Um, now, as many of you might know, Gene and I are planning on a uh, an Alaska trip, so. I've gone to my upholstery guy and I'm having him make me um, inserts for these windows, for these size windows, <coughs> five of them. And they're gonna have a piece of two inch foam in them. And when I trim out the, uh, the window, uh, around the window, there'll be snaps. And then those, those uh, two inch, um, I don't know what kind of foam it is. It's a flexible foam and that'll basically, that'll basically insulate that window, you know, from the cold coming outside. Cause remember in the walls is two inch, uh, spray foam. So a nice two inch here at the window. Um, we got two inches plus in the floor. Um, so as far as insulation, it's about as good as we can get right now. Um, we've got, you know, gas furnace as well as electric heat, um, which I'll be installing that here. I don't know, in the next month or so, because our first trip is at the end of February, beginning of March. Um, and I want to make sure that we have both of those available. Um, I'll tell you, man, that came out, that came out real nice. Um, now keep in mind, I still have to sand everything and I still have to, to stain everything. Um, so it's not, you know, this isn't the finished product. Um, we actually decided to go a little darker on our, our stain. So I picked up this can of honey and, uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna, you know, darken up the wood a little bit. So we'll try that out maybe tomorrow, see what time we have. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be building this cabinet here. That's a 32 by 35. And, uh, and then once that's built, um, I'm gonna, and it'll, once, once this cabinet is built right here, then I'll fill in above the sink with a cabinet that comes all the way over to here. Um, it's just futile to try to measure that right now and figure it out. I'm basically just going to fill that void with a nice uh, shelf cabinet. And it'll butt right up to that one. And it'll butt right up to this one. It'll probably, I mean, these are only 12 inches deep. The cabinets will be. This one sticks out a little bit further because I've got all my stuff in there. But, um... It'll look real nice. It'll be proportioned to the windows. So whatever space, I think this was 36. And so I'm building a 32. So that gives me two inches on both sides for trim. 
So this cabinet up here will probably be the same. It'll be about a two inches off the window. And then with the trim and everything, it'll look real nice. So we'll see. We'll see. I haven't even decided what kind of what kind of trim I'm going to use. Probably just going to use some some flat stock. You know, I'm going to fill this gap here with uh, with silicone. Um, and then you know this will be covered. Now, of course, all the nail holes and everything have to be you know puttied and and sanded. But uh, I mean, it's just it's just damn nice right there. Okay, um, like I said, Gina will be home in a little while, so I'm going to cut this video off and uh, we'll get ready for her and we'll talk to you tomorrow.